Hello and welcome to quick and concise tutorial on how to get map.rb working as well as importing and exporting files. Timestamps will be included in the bar below as well as in the description where they will be accompanied by the files used in this tutorial. And finally a summary cheat sheet will be provided at the end for quick reference and your continued convenience. To start off we we'll need to open an internet browser and you'll do. I'll be using Microsoft Edge as it's the simplest UI so it'll be easier for you to follow along at home. To get things going we'll need to go to the map.rb website itself. Simple enough, go to the URL bar, map.army, type it in, or go to the link in the description, and we are here. So we'll be sticking for Ordnance Survey Map for this video. We will then be moving on to the Layers section of your user interface. This is where you will find your different sets of symbology that you'll be using to add on units, objectives, defense lines, and so on. This is also where you make new layers, load layers and save layers. What you'll want to do at this point is click on this layer until you get the little pencil. That means that this is the active layer and any symbology added will be added to this layer. Moving up to the add MS symbol here. This is where you'll find all of your different units, different defense lines, different general symbology to add on to the map. To show you how this works, we'll be adding an infantry unit to London, as well as going through the brief procedure needed to edit that unit's properties. So start by let's selecting the infantry symbol, placing it down. As you can now see, the infantry symbol is on the map. You can zoom in with your mouse wheel. Now that the symbol's down, you'll see on the left in the layer section that the infantry has been added. You can now go ahead and click on this unit and then click on the simple editor and it will bring up this screen here. You can add in modifiers that include direction. Let's move him east. Now on the symbol he will have a directional arrow and so on and so on. Uh, affiliation, you can change from hostile to neutral. Make sure you click apply each time. As well as everything in between. Operational condition. Then in here, if you click on the little symbol on the top, you'll be able to see what each one is. To remove units, simply select it and click the delete symbol down here. All of this should work on a touchscreen device, it just gets a little twiddly. You'll have to you'll get used to it, it'll be fun. Now onto the part that confuses some people. We'll go on to the importing and exporting of these layers so that they can be shared but with other people. In the Google Drive link in the description below, there is the Millex file that I'll be uploading in this tutorial if you want to play along at home. So come here, click here, and then download. And then simply go up to load Millex. Millex is the format used by this system, wherever you have it installed. Open up the Millex. And then it will just add this on to the layers that you have. So if you already have a layer, it'll show it. You can show and hide different layers there. Here's a proposed landing scenario of Red 4 on the British Isles. As you can see, I've added in areas of interest as well as objectives and units along the front line. An option available to you as well is in this bottom, there is switch to 3D mode. This can get a bit of getting used to on touchscreen devices. On computer at least, it's mainly left mouse to move around and middle mouse, so pushing down your mouse wheel to angle the map. This allows you to get an interesting perspective of what's going on in a slightly more 3D scenario. One advantage of this, however, the fence is a bad example because of how flat it is. But if, say, we go to a famously hilly place like Switzerland, for instance, you will see the topology of the ground is represented. So you'll be able to see sight lines here that just by looking at a map, you may not be able to understand as easily. Now on to exporting your own files, simply go save as Melex and then select 
the layers that you want to save click the save and then you will be provided with a download of your new layer collection uh, which will then be the same scenario as before you can then load it other people can load it and then they'll have exactly what you had it's generally a useful piece of kit for generally understanding maps in a military sense as well as displaying them in a more pleasing understandable way to explain to other people Overall, it is generally a quite intuitive piece of software. I'm sure you'll all be able to get your head around it. Just play around, click on the little buttons in the top right to check what everything means and it'll all go quite well.